welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books, and today we're continuing my Spotlighting Cozy series. We've been working our way through animal cozies. We're uh, up to authors whose last names start with I. This series has been so much fun because I think I've said this in previous videos, but I haven't read a lot of animal cozies. So my TBR has just been blowing up. I hope yours has. Let me know which of these that you read, which of these that you're interested in reading. Anything else that you want to talk about down there in the comments is the place to do it. Don't forget on your way to comment to stop, hit the subscription and the notification bell. That's going to tell you when I put out new videos each and every single week. Let's just get right into this spotlight in three, two, one, go. I know that we said that we were starting with letter I today. There are no I authors. I will say if I missed any, please let me know in the comments in the comments below if there's a um, author that you have found in any of my spotlights that I that I didn't spotlight because I do want to get as many books out there as I can. I do check several different sites, but alas, I could still definitely miss some. So if you know of any, again, please feel free to put them down there. So we're starting straight away with letter J. The first one is the Witch's Cat Mystery Series by Delia James. The first book is called A Familiar Tale. It's right here. It says the main character is Annabelle. She is an artist and a witch. This also features her cat and familiar Alistair. And this takes place in New Hampshire. Unlucky in love, Annabelle Britton decides that a visit to the seaside town of Portsmouth, New Hampshire is the perfect way to get over her problems. But when she stumbles upon a smoky gray cat named Alistair and follows him into a charming cottage, Annabelle finds herself in a whole spell book full of trouble. Suddenly saddled with a witch's wand and a furry familiar, Annabelle soon meets a friendly group of women who use their spells, charms, and potions to keep the people of Portsmouth safe. But despite their gifts, the witches can't prevent every wicked deed in town. Soon, the mystery surrounding Alistair's former owner who died under unusual circumstances grows when another local turns up dead, armed with magic, friends, and the charmed cat who adopted her more than the other way around. Annabelle sets out to paw through the evidence and uncover a killer. Three books in that series. That sounds super cute. The next one is The Cat in the Stacks Mystery Series by Miranda James. The first book is called Murder Past Due. It's right here. It says the main character is Charlie Harris. They are a librarian and their cat, Diesel, in Mississippi. Everyone in Athena, Mississippi knows Charlie Harris, the good-natured librarian with a rescued Maine Coon cat named Diesel that he walks on a leash He's returned to his hometown to immerse himself in books, but soon enough, he's entangled in a real-life thriller. A famous author of gory bestsellers and a former classmate of Charlie's, Godfrey Priest, may be the pride of Athena, but Charlie remembers him as an arrogant, manipulative jerk. And he's not the only one. Godfrey's homecoming has a distinguished alumnus. Couldn't possibly go worse. By lunch, he's put a man in the hospital. By dinner, Godfrey's dead? Now it's up to Charlie with some help from Diesel to paw through the town's grudges and find the killer before an impatient deputy throws the book at the wrong person. There are 12 books in that series. That sounds super intriguing. And there's no librarian involved, which is, yeah, I love books about books. This next author has four Four animal cozy series. The first one is called Superstition Mystery Series. This is by Linda O. Johnson. The book is called Lost Under a Ladder. Here it is. It says the main character is Rory. She's an employee of Lucky Dog Boutique and her dog Plucky. <laughs> Rory never thought superstitions were real until her beloved fiance is killed after walking under a ladder. To find closure and the truth about superstitions, Rory takes her dog Plucky to a town called Destiny, where superstitious beliefs are a way of life. Rory's visit to Destiny takes an unexpected turn when Plucky saves Martha, the owner of the Lucky Dog Boutique. When Martha recovers, Rory reluctantly agrees to manage the pet shop for her. 
But when Martha becomes a prime suspect and the local bookshop owner's murder, Rory can't believe that the sweet old woman would do it. Convinced the real killer is still running, roaming Destiny's streets, Rory resolves to crack the case before Martha's luck runs out. Three books in that series. Sounds really cute. There's a bookstore, a dog, I'm in. <laughs> so the second series by Linda O. Johnston is called the Barkery and Biscuits series. <laughs> The first book is called Bite the Biscuit. It's right here. The main character, Carrie, owns the Barkery, a canine bakery, and she is an ex-veterinarian technician. Oh my God, that's amazing. The Barkery, love it. It says, vet tech Carrie has become known for offering healthy dog treats at the clinic where she works. So when the owner of the local bakery moves away, Carrie jumps at the chance to buy the business and convert half, it, half of it into the Barkery, a shop where she can make and sell canine delights. But Myra, co-owner of another pet product store, hates the new competition. At the Barkery's opening party, she badmasks Carrie's homemade dog biscuits, insisting she'll find a way to shut the place down. But when Myra is found dead with a Barkery biscuit beside her, oh no, Carrie must prove she didn't do it before she's colored for murder. It says that this series includes recipes for pets and people. Five books. That sounds amazing. The next series, again, four series by this woman, so we're at the third one. It's called the Kendra Pet Sitter Mystery Series by, again, Linda O. Johnston. Here is the cover. It's called Sit, Stay, and Slay. This is book one. The main character is Kendra. She is an attorney and a pet sitter. It says, can from her L.A. law firm? Oh, no. Kendra is now a freelance pet sitter. When her clients start getting knocked off one by one, Kendra fears she's being set up. Aided by sexy detective Jeff Hubbard, she's got to find out what, why, and fast. Ten books in that series. That sounds really great. <laughs> so the next book that I want to talk about is called A Horse of a Different Killer by Jody Jaffe. It's right here. It is the first book in a three book series. I do not know the name of this series. It is older, but I wanted to include it even though it started and ended before 2000. And I said I wouldn't include those in my spotlight because there's not that many horse cozies. So if you really are looking for that sort of thing, I wanted to include it even if it was an older series. I don't know much about it. But it's definitely maybe worth a look if you're if you're really into that. The next series is called the Paw Enforcement Mystery Series. It's by Diane Kelly. The first book is called Paw Enforcement. It's right here. It says the main character is named Megan. She's a police officer and uh, who has a canine partner in Fort Worth, Texas. Officer Luz is lucky she still has a job after tasering a male colleague where it counts the most holy moly i did not expect that first line <laughs> in a cozy mystery it says sure he had it coming which is why the police chief is giving megan a second chance the catch her new partner can't carry a gun can't drive a cruiser and can't recite the miranda rights because her new partner is a big furry police dog so that's what the chief meant when he called Megan's partner a real something or other. Will fate throw her a bone? With Bridget out on the beat, Megan is writing up enough tickets to wallpaper the whole station. But when a bomb goes off at the mall's food court, it's up to Megan and Bridget to start digging and sniffing for clues. With the help of a dead sexy bomb squad expert, Seth, and his own canine partner named Blast, Megan finds herself in a desperate race to call her a killer nine books in that series. So the next series I want to talk about is one that has been on my TBR for a long, a long time. It's a very popular series. I'm super excited about it. It is the Magical Cats series by Sophie Kelly. The first book is called Curiosity Thrilled the Cat. <laughs> it's right here. It says the main character is Kathleen, who's a librarian. Yay. This takes place in Minnesota. It says that it also features her two cats, Owen and Hercules, 
When librarian Kathleen moved to Maryville Heights, Minnesota, she had no idea that two strays would nuzzle their way into her life. Owen is a tabby with catnip addiction, and Hercules is a stocky tuxedo cat who shares Kathleen's fondness for Barry Manilow. <laughs> but beyond all the fur and purrs, there's something more to these kitties. When murder interrupts Maryville's Wild Rose Summer Music Festival... Kathleen finds herself the prime suspect. More stunning is her realization that Owen and Hercules are truly special, perhaps even magical. Now, with a little legwork from her four-legged friends, Kathleen may be able to solve this perfect murder. <laughs> 13 books in that series. Like I said, it's been on my TBR forever. I know it's very popular. I look forward to checking it out. So the last series I want to talk about is called the Pet Boutique Mystery Series by Annie Knox. The first book is called Pause for Murder. It's right here. It says the main character is Izzy McHale, who's the owner of Trendy Tales Pet Boutique. This takes place in Minnesota. Izzy's own beloved pets are dressed to the nines for the grand opening of Trendy Trails. Feisty feline Jinx is large and in charge and hat and Happy Mutt Packer is lapping up the attention. Izzy and her best friend Rena have their hands full meeting Maryville's menagerie and serving tasty cupcakes and kitty canapes from their bakery. The last thing they, they need is the town's local activist, Sherry Harper, scaring off customers and getting tongues wagging by picketing the event. The two manage to stop Sherry's protest in its tracks, but the trouble for Trendy Tales is just beginning. Sherry is found murdered in the back of the shop, and Rena is immediately named as the lead suspect. Now Izzy and her furry friends have a new pet project, Collaring a Killer. Three books in that series. It sounds really good. Oh my gosh, there are so many great sounding pet cozy mysteries. I'm really excited about this spotlight. Until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everyone.